So hello comrades and welcome back to another Subnautica's news and updates video. So let's start first. Let's get the hell out of this life pod. So today we are going to begin this episode with spawning some submersibles. And first what we're going to do, we're going to spawn Seamoth. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to talk a lot about the sounds because, uh, of course, Subnautica game developers made a lot of improvements uh, regarding the sounds. So this is a CMOF. Uh, you know that there is an enter animation for the CMOF already, but the game developers added not also the animation, but also <laughs> God damn the psych the stalker wants to enter this the CMOF. Not today, buddy. So let's enter the CMOF. Okay, wait a second. The PDA is talking again, so I, I don't want to enter just right now. Okay, so let's try and listen the enter CMOF sounds. Okay, they're actually very short. You, you heard them. So yeah, this is how it looks right now when you enter this awesome thing. Now also let's spawn exosuit. Uh, and because, because there is also uh, sound for the Enter prawn suit. Let's try it. Bzz, very beautiful. Uh, do you remember the last episode I talked about the new huts for the submersibles on the bottom right screen? They are really awesome. Now, uh, let's go further. Uh, what I want to do, I want to actually build some, uh, some rooms. Uh, let's start with the multi-purpose room. Uh, we will need the scanner room and uh, you may ask me why I'm doing this, because there is new awesome animations and sounds f to enter the hatches. So let's build observatory too, because, uh, look, I'm going to show you. Let's build these hatches and I'm going to enter uh, the moon pool. Uh, but just give me a second because again the PDA is talking to us. I don't want to actually ruin the whole sound and everything. So let's go. Uh, enter base. Beautiful. So now, always when you will will always enter uh, uh, the moon pool using the hatch, you will get this animation and you will get those sounds. Beautiful. Awesome. Now. Uh, I tested this out with the moon pool, the scanner room and the observatory and unfortunately the observatory does not have uh, these animations. Uh, I'm just spawning inside and uh, the scanner room has this because I believe when you when you build this huge hatch it has the an Okay, the stalker just took the drone from the scanner room. God damn. <laughs> Yeah, this is so hilarious. Okay, so as you can see, we have this awesome animation. Now I'm going to leave this one, this one and uh, uh, you know what? I am going to go into uh, the life pod because I want to build one awesome thing, the O2 tank. I need the high capacity O2 tank. And uh, what we're going to do, we are going to survival mode right now. As you can see, I have 135 seconds to be underwater. And let's go and deplete that oxygen underwater for a little bit. Uh, because there is also new sounds for the O2 tank refillment in... Oh, God damn, refillment, whatever, you understand. When I go to the surface, the O2 tank refills with the oxygen and it has really awesome sound. Now, let's deplete that. It looks so awesome! The stalkers are actually taking the drones and they are playing with them. Wow, awesome. And when I have uh, the ping manager set up uh, to uh, look at those dro drones, uh, it looks. Let's go a little bit further. It looks actually so hilarious. Poor stalkers. They don't have a lot of, you see, uh, metal salvage, so they are taking the cameras, the drones. So, okay, I have. Uh, let's wait for the O2 tank to deplete at least at half and then we are going to uh, refill it at the surface and you are going to hear the sound yeah okay, okay, just give me a second all right because it's it's already done oh my god of course he farted in my face let's go now uh listen to the sounds did you see that 
Okay, you could not see that. You could only hear that. So it was like... Okay, you understand that, right? Okay, so I have my notebook. Uh, I have talked about the O2 tank, uh, the exosuit enter, C... Oh, yeah, the C glide. Oh, by the way, this is actually so awesome. Now... The Sea Glide has also new sounds uh, improved. Whenever you try to uh, go with the Sea Glide, uh, it's all it was already Im uh, implemented, but right now it has uh, improvements made. The same goes with the Cyclops and with the Prawn Suit, uh, with the ex uh, with the Sea Moth. So, God damn it! Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. The PDA doesn't want to shut up. So let's okay. Beautiful. Now, when you grab the Sea Glide, uh, you can... Do you hear that? Whenever you are uh, accelerating, uh, the sound of the Sea Glide changes. Uh, the thing is, uh, it's actually really awesome. I know that it has been already implemented, but right now it was improved to sound a little bit better, which is actually really awesome. So. Okay, uh, we have talked about these awesome things. Now, let's go to creative mod. Let's set the damage uh, damage to, uh, I don't know, 10,000. Damage 10,000. And what I want to do, I want to grab the knife and I want to spawn a <laughs> very awesome creature. The Ghost Leviathan, because we are going to kill it. The Ghost Leviathan got a new death animation. Let's try. Spawn... Ghost Leviathan and kill it. Boom. <laughs> okay, I killed it very uh, very fast actually. So as you can see, uh, it turns upside down with his boobs uh, looking at the ocean ocean uh, surface. Yes, and uh, this is the death animation. So that means that you can actually try and kill the uh, Ghost Leviathan wherever you will be playing Subnautica, which is actually really awesome. You can do that with this, uh, with for example the Prawn Suit. Uh, it's actually a little bit hard. Once once I killed the Sea Dragon Leviathan using this uh, the Prawn Suit, it was a pain in the ass because you need to repair everything. Uh, you need to be very careful. So yeah, but this actually shows us that you can kill the. Oh wait, I don't have a knife. Do I? Yeah, I don't have an. I I mean, I have a knife in my hand, but it does not show me. Okay, so is that a bug or something? Let's go into the surface. Yeah, okay, we can actually do this one. Uh, report a bug. No uh, knife. 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 Knife, yeah? Uh, okay. <laughs> and let's be very, very angry. No knife. I, I don't have a knife. So, if you have, for example, uh, if you noticed any bugs when you are playing Subnautica, because it is an early access game, uh, you can actually just report a bug. You already know about that, right? But by the way, if you do that for the first time, you get an achievement. So yeah, this is... Uh, we can actually go and uh, spawn another one, right? And kill it immediately. Spawn Ghost Leviathan and... Boom! Okay, I missed him. Let's go closer. And let's see the n those awesome new implemented animations. Boom! It's just turning upside down, and yeah, his eyes is not turning. Uh, they are looking actually really, really creepy. Can I? I know I cannot look him upside down. Whatever. So this is how the Ghost Leviathan dies. If you are lucky enough to kill it in your normal Subnautica gameplay. Okay, so this is not the end of this episode. Uh, I am going to show you one video uh, from the developers uh, regarding the sonar. It is actually really awesome. So without any further ado, let's go and check that video. All right, so this is the video from one of the developers and it is showcasing how the sonar works in Subnautica. If you noticed, he already accessed it and uh, yeah, like this. If you see those red squares on all of those wrecks and everywhere, that means that the sonar has been activated. Now, uh, it's actually awesome looking when you activate the sonar and look at the creep vines. It's actually so helpful if you go inside these caves like that. So it is showing you where the cave is actually going to. For example, if uh, if you are uh, in this situation, it's 
dark as hell, you can actually and just use the sonar and see where are the caves going. Deeper underneath the layer, uh, deeper inside uh, the ocean or or not so yeah this is actually so awesome uh, already we had the sonar uh, when we were using the seamoth but uh, right now I don't actually know whatever it we will be able to use the sonar if we are not using the seamoth for example in this situation like this uh, or we will need to use uh, the seamoth to actually uh, access the sonar so I really don't know it would be actually so awesome if we would not need to to, uh, get inside the seamoth uh, and get the upgrade for the sonar to use it uh, it would be so awesome if we could use it just like this when we're just swimming with normally uh, inside Subnautica but yeah this is uh, the video from one of the game developer I will go I'm going to leave it to you and yeah this is uh, this is it comrades I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, yeah it's, it's already over so yeah again I hope you enjoyed this episode I heard you uh, found something new about Subnautica. Uh, if you can, you're always welcome to share this video with your friends. If you, if you of course, have any, uh, maybe leave a like. Uh, I normally do not ask this, but since my channel is actually declining, uh, I need those views, right? <laughs> so comrades, I'm going to see you all tomorrow in the next episode. Bye.